good morning and welcome back to another video uh, today um, I'll just get out of that sun there uh, it, it's a good excuse the sun shines it's a cracking morning this morning it's Sunday morning and um, I only managed to edit a video this morning it was supposed to be out Friday where I was a day late anyway because I was so busy and then with the power with the storm the power went and the internet went and it only came back this morning so I got it out this morning so apologies for that but it's a cracking morning this morning uh, there was some rain on Friday, unbelievable. So I'm, I don't know what the weather is for this week. But anyway, we're at sheep today and we have a good bit to do with cattle. We have to get in and move cows and calves. And then there's a couple of, couple of new calves that need to be tagged. Uh, a few different things. So we just have the O's in this morning. Where I'm going to give them a mineral bolus. Uh, this is my first year doing it. I've done it before the lambing and uh, I'm going to do it again now and see how to go. But there's some le yo's very lame. So we're going to we're gonna pair them and then uh, run everything through the foot bath. Uh, we're going to give them a worm dose as well because I, I give them two, one at the lambing and one, one just after the lamb going out to the field and one now. Some people don't agree with worm dosing adult sheep but anyway we do. That's what we do. We do it twice. And then we want to get the lambs in, as I was saying earlier in the, in the, in the other video, the Tullow show, the second show is on Wednesday, so we need to get the old lambs in, sort them, and bring them home then, and sort them down in the, in the sheep shed properly, and um, tag them, and, and put the spray on them, and there's some lame lambs there as well, I'll probably bring any of the lame ones home as well, and put them in the shed, because they're just, they should have been done, you know what I mean, so we're going to treat them today and we'll bring them home, put them in the shed because the guy that had maggots in both feet, we put him into the shed that time and he's perfect now, he's absolutely perfect. Yeah, well the maggots probably cleaned it out, I just had to cut the excess stuff off and we dipped his feet in formalin and he's perfect now. Um, so yeah, sorting, sorting lambs as I say, there's 30 to go to Tullow uh, on Wednesday. I mightn't have 30 now because there's a few black ones that are lame. Um, but whatever I'm going to bring and then like in two weeks time the blessing and show and sale is on for the Chevis So I've 30 to go to that as well, but I won't be sorting them today um, and, and like even the grass situation is, is pretty good I put them in there a couple of weeks ago, but they haven't really put a dint in it The, the grass has been growing real well uh, Maybe there's not a, too much value in it. There's too much moisture in it. I'd say but anyway um, It's there and uh, we'll work with it. And I had put these yos um, just on a bit of aftergrass beside the lambs there just a week or so ago, just to give them a little bit of a flush before they go to the rams because they'll be going to the rams in a couple of weeks. Um, but they're in they're in good condition. Uh, we have Senna with us today, so he's gonna give us give us give us a hand and maybe do some video on as well. But um, you can see the yos there. Um, we'll have to get some Suffolk yos in that are at home as well. Um, they're in pretty good condition but like last year was totally different where they were in bad condition and we had the worst scan ever so I want to try and turn that around and that's why I'm giving them these boluses today because uh, the ram will be going out in a couple of weeks but that's it there it's a yo Icovet yo bolus and it's for cobalt, zinc, iodine and selenium. They're the four minerals that are in it. And then the worm dose we're given is the tramazole 10%. Uh, it's for sheep and cattle. Um, so, so that's what we're doing. But yeah, we've, we've Suffolk yo's at home there in another spot. Uh, we're going to be doing them, maybe not today, probably tomorrow. And then uh, I need to buy some more I bought some yo's off my dad, just haven't got them yet, haven't, haven't paid for them or got them yet, but about 40 yo's off him. And then I have to buy, I'm trying to buy another 60 or 70 hoggets uh, on the Chevet show day, um, all going well. So that'll be in two weeks. So uh, when I get them, I'll just bolus them and, and uh, drench them when I get them. So anyway, we're rambling on here a bit, so we'll just get going at it and uh, we're going to start pairing a few feet. You just have one here, you can come in a bit closer Sandy, but have one here, look at this one, very bad foot. So just, we'll cut all that excess off. It's very bad. It's quite lame on it. So you have to get in under it, there to get the... 
I'd be, be have to trim all that off. <laughs> That's just neat formalin in that. We dip every foot because we put them through the foot bath, and and the reason we do this is because she could hold her foot up in the foot bath, and she mightn't dip it in at all. Now it's hard to get if I'm on my own. It's very hard to get the back feet to hold them and uh, dip it at the same time. But she's quite bad. Have to be treated anyway. That's just the boluses there. They're actually they're actually quite big. Um, and there's the applicator, um, the bolus just, anyone that doesn't know, most people will know, the bolus just goes in, in the end, and then you just push it down their neck. You just need to be, need to be a bit careful putting the gun down their neck, sort of let, it, let them take it in themselves, and uh, you just need to be, be sure that it goes down, that they don't cough it back up, uh, you just need to be wary of that. But like, it's only, as I said, it's only our first year trying it, we've done it in the spring, so we'll see, how it goes, like putting out the lick buckets, you're not guaranteed that they're getting anything, you know, they do lick it and it's, they're a lot of molasses, so, um, I don't know, look, all these things, you don't know whether they work or not, but sure, I'm going to do it anyway, and it costs, I think it costs about 130 a yo for them to buy them, um, bolus, I think, I'll, I'll check anyway when I look at the at the receipt. I think it's about 130 a yo or 140 a yo. So it's, it's expensive enough when you're doing it twice a year. You know, uh, it's working out about 250 a yo or more uh, every year. But sure, if you were dosing them with minerals, um, I, I just feel maybe if you're dosing them, I used to dose them with the minerals that maybe it's just going through them too quickly and it's not maybe as, as beneficial as, as these. But look at we don't know we, we'll see how we go and um you probably have better results after a year or two uh when you've been using them for a while and and, and see what way they work just this first show oh god hold on just make sure it's down her neck and she sort of took it in herself just make sure she doesn't cough it back up sometimes that happens they cough it back up and you find one on the ground. So that's grand. It's just a little bit slow, but anyway, that's that's the basics, the basics of it. So there <coughs> we just have the, the old lambs home. I think there's about 42 or three there, but there's a good few, there's two or three real bad lame ones that I wouldn't be able to bring to the mart. I'll just throw them into a pen and leave them here until their feet get right but um you can only bring pens of 10 oh excuse me pens of 10 so what i might do with the third pen is bring whatever 17 or 18 because i want to sell them now anyway i want to get rid of them this time in tullow so i'll have my two best pens and then the last pen to be sort of a mix match pen i think but I, I've got black, black ones here and I wanted to sort them out. But maybe I haven't too many. Maybe I'll just put all them on the last pen. See how things go. Just want to want to um, want to get the lame ones out now and throw them into a pen here on their own. We do it with the other smaller lambs there. Pets that were left and different different things. Some of the some of the lambs that were thrown in here for different reasons. So uh, they've all been through the footpath twice there this morning. They're, they're gone a little bit dirty on the back end now. And like the, it's not that long since they were dosed. But because of the wet weather in the grass, it's just making them a bit dirty. It's not that long since they had a worm dose. So um, it's, that's not the problem. I don't think, uh, we didn't do any counts or any fetal counts or like that, but I don't think that's the problem. But um, might need to clip a few of them on the back end and tidy them up a bit. But want to sort them out now, tag everything, and put that bit of a spray on them, and they should be ready to go. I'll leave them out here where my ram, Chevrolet Ram lambs are lead, so they're handy enough to get Wednesday morning. And I want to get the black, my black hoggets, I have 30 black hoggets up here. I want to get them in and bolus them and dose them today when I'm, when I'm in that mindset of giving the boluses and all. I have them with me in, in the Jeep and everything, so I'll do that. So then any goes I buy in then, I'll just give it to them as I buy them in. So that's it. My battery is sort of running dead now, and I thought I had another one with me, which I don't. So probably going to run out a bit of a bit of footage now but um 
I, I, I was asked to judge the Hoggart class on Wednesday in Tullow, so I don't know whether that actually has been confirmed or not, so it'll be my first time judging anything, so um, the pressure will be on, and uh, I'm not nervous at the minute, but I know I will be Wednesday morning, so uh, you know, you, you're, you're in there to do a job and you want to try and do it right, so look, We'll see how it goes. I just hope I don't make a fucking total hash of it. But I'll probably be with someone else anyway. You won't be on your own. So you can argue your point anyway, and that's all you can do. So, uh, judging is always... It's only ever one man's opinion anyway, you know what I mean? So we'll see how that goes. But it's not confirmed yet. It's not confirmed yet. I was asked to do what I said I'd do it. But I haven't had confirmation. So, so maybe I'm not. But anyway... Just like the last video, have there sprayed all them. There's 39 lambs there, um, all sprayed for Wednesday. As I say, there was a couple in there that I might see. Can I? I'll pair their feet. Uh, I, I, I doubt to be ready for Wednesday, but if I could get one out, that would mean I'd have 40. But <clears throat> I was saying earlier, today is Sunday and we spent just the whole day at sheep bolusing the O's earlier and then uh, sorting these lambs. Um, the whole day is gone. I'm not finished yet. I have to bolus them other hoggers yet. So I don't know what time it is to say. It's five or six o'clock now. So anyway, we let them out where the rams are and um, we'll probably get a bit of video on. Um, Oh, we'll probably have to finish off this video because this video is for Tuesday. Just to show you, I have a cow in there now. She's probably the thinnest cow I have, but she has a set of twins. One over there and one over there. They're small little lads. What was it? Uh, today we went up to Jalix Friday. It was spilling rain Friday morning. I went out and she had just calved them in the wettest spot in the field. So I had to get the bucket on the front loader and I put a bit of straw in it. And I went out and I, I put them in the front bucket and she followed me in. Lucky enough, so at least they were in anyway. Um, but they're a bit hungry, she's not over great with the milk. And she, she's very thin. We, um, since we got our feet paired there a month or six weeks ago, whenever it was, a month ago, she just completely melted and she, was, she just seemed to be bad on her back feet. But in saying that, she should have been in a month ago anyway. I knew she was having twins. and. It's, it's always the same story. You're always so busy that the, the stuff at home, the, the livestock probably gets neglected a little bit because you're fucking doing so much other stuff. And it's, it's always the same. It's always the same. But anyway, I'm giving her a few nuts now and probably won't put her out in the field. Probably just leave her in and, and give her a bit of TLC, give her some nuts and then they can give the calves a bit of meal if they go on. But I'd say um, they're very small little lads and they are hungry, a bit hungry. So I might have to mix up one bottle a day and give it between them, you know, if I give them two litres each a day plus sucking on the cow. I didn't want to rush in with the bottle because then they think every time they see me they come running to me and they won't go suck the cow. You know, something like that has happened to me before as well with lambs. Where you rush in with the bottle and then they won't go suck the yo and then you have to fucking battle with them. So they're su <coughs> excuse me, they're sucking the cow, and um, maybe I'll start mixing up a bottle and giving them about two liters each, ju just per day. Uh, I might split that up maybe even to two feeds, give them one liter in the morning and one liter in the evening, because they're only small little lads. They won't. There's a lad getting up. They don't need a whole lot. Two bull calves. They're after the Charlie bull. They're small, but like in fair. She, she should have been in and getting, she should have been in a month ago and been getting some meal because I knew she's my only set of twins. But, um, oh, uh, the bull, I had a bull and a bullock in here, um, and I, I, I had to go to the factory with them this morning. So, uh, went down to Haggistown, Liffey Meats in Haggistown. Now, I'm just going to go down the fields and show you the calves down the field. There was another baby calf this morning, or last night, um, and then the, the very first one is there. So I just, I need to get them in. I don't know whether I'll get time today because I have to, I have to do a run to the hospital this morning, dropping someone in. I have to collect someone from the hospital again. And uh, I have to go to the bank and I've just a bit of running around to do. So I was hoping to get the cattle in this evening. Maybe I will this evening yet. And I still haven't got them sorted out. So, but I want to finish off this video sort of now because um, 
it's Monday now and I want to get it edited for tomorrow I don't want to be falling behind again so I'll go down the fields and we will I'll just show you those other calves and um, The next video then will probably be tagging these lads. Um, probably won't get them tagged today, but um, when I get them all in, I'll, t I'll tag the other two as well, and I'll probably stick rings on these two. They're bull calves. The lad that was last night was a bull calf as well, Charlie Bull Calf. I'll stick a ring on him, and the first one was a heifer. And um, I order tags today. I have five tags, but I, was, uh, I haven't enough for the season, so I order tags today. But I want to get them in and get them tagged and get those samples sent off because then you're you're, you're not tripping over yourself you keep everything on board and I put it into the herd watch app as I do it and scan the tags through that and I find it feckin great I find it great so we'll just run down the fields now quickly and I'll show you the, the calves down there and then we're just going to sign off there's one lad running back to his mother uh, I don't know whether he can really hear me or not it's, it's quite windy he's there sucking his mammy now uh, that was the first lad born and I thought all those cows should have been in calf to the Shirley bull but it, that's definitely a uh, Simmental calf and um, I, I, I think when I bought that bull last year I think I had them in at some stage and I think there was one or two cows a bull and, and I let them out to him because I wasn't letting them out to the cows at that stage and I just let him out to the cow and he could have bulled her and then I put him back in so that could have been one of them it's definitely a Simmental calf uh, lovely heifer calf so look at maybe be keeping it um, calved unassisted came out and it was calved uh, the twins obviously were calved unassisted but like you could always get a problem where it'd be coming backways or turned upside down or something like that and um, we're just going over to see this other calf now where it's uh, out of a serious belgian blue cow from the jalix herd um, and i come out this morning and, and she had calved herself to say that the cow, and like after the charlie bull had a few problems last year all the january ones or spring ones calved on their own again but like unassisted and now all these have calved unassisted so far that's three of them so no problems and there's just a few of the the spring calves charlie calves that's a lovely heifer there and look there they are there and like they're getting no meal they're getting no meal and that's why i want to sort them out and put them down to another spot and maybe i would put the creep feed down and just give them a small bit just to get them going but i'd certainly be giving them meal once they go into the shed you know probably wouldn't be selling them till next spring but like really really happy with them maybe you can't really see in the camera maybe when you see them walking you can actually they're they're mostly lads enough, they're a bit hairy there at the minute because they're probably a little bit hungry, they could be doing with a bit of meal. Now this is the Belgian Blue Jalix cow. Now she has lost one quarter, in, she lost one spin. The back spin on this side. But um, look, look at that for, for milk. And there he is now, he's not over big but it's a nice bull calf. After the Charlie bull and like look at the booty on that, ca that cow. Serious, uh, serious milk and serious shape and like she can have no problem to the charlie bull there on her own you know and with the autumn ones you're always a bit dubious because they're out on grass and again just not organized other years i was more organized and and i had them tight and giving them silage and i used to bring them in at night there's a gutter bursted on the shed in there as well and i need to ring a guy today to come and fix that and that's some of the reason why i hadn't got them into the shed because the heavy rain and all it was sort of half flooded it's just it's just endless the the work is endless but anyway the, the calves are are nice not overly big the calves don't assist it i'd much prefer that than bringing them in cesareans or jack in or anything like that and like the um out with, out with that belgian blue cow she she always has a cracking calf that that lad will grow into a right little calf she always has a cracking calf and that she was one of the ones i got out of jalix fairly early on but yeah like those those spring calves i want to move them with the cows down there where we cut the haylage and get them out of here and then i'd move all the cows that are calving now up up there at the back of the house the house is up there because then Car carla can actually look out the window and see most of them are come they're fairly close to the house that if one was calving and fairly close to the yard that if one was calving uh, you could get them in handy enough but i want to get the shed sorted and maybe put them in at night 
but then if you go out during the night to check them or whatever like that and there's one calf and at least she's in, the, she's in the shed and you can get her into the calving gate or whatever if she's out here in the field you're fucking running around and that I, I don't too much of that so you do learn is just put them in at night um, so and like there's so much soilage there's a lad ringing all this week is busy all this week is busy uh, to go bail and soilage tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday's the Tullo show. As I said before, I, I think I'm judging in that. So I have to wait there then all day uh, with the hoggets and stuff like that. So uh, how, as I said earlier in the video, I haven't got confirmation about the judging, but I'm going with lambs anyway. I have 39 lambs to go. You've seen them earlier in the video. But anyway, we're gonna sign off now because I want this video finished so that I can edit it tonight or, or else first thing in the morning that it can go out go out tomorrow and it's a cracking day today it was a bit drizzly this morning but it's cracking dry and really so it's great to have the sun back it really really is good to have the sun back um yeah you, you definitely miss it you would definitely miss it anyway we're going to sign off uh i hope you liked the video and if you did give it a like and uh please subscribe and we will see you at, see you at the next one